Hi guys, Alok Shrivastava from Network Nuts YouTube channel. So what the Sparta is going to share with you in this video. So time to wear the Spartan helmet and uh, let's move on understanding some new things. Right, let's be a Sparta of Linux. I feel much better. So uh, we are going to learn how can you break the root password in rel 8 which is actually the same steps as we used to do in rel 7 so there is nothing new in it it's all same here but before we jump onto the video i would just like to share you one small uh, kind of a tip or a request that you should first learn how to learn linux right so you cannot learn linux by just mugging up certain commands you cannot learn or be a master of linux by just like simply remembering some steps you cannot do it believe me guys you cannot do it the only way of doing is is that there are only two things which are the spartan tips the the tips are use your common sense and read the screen carefully believe me friends a lot of time the machine gives you all the all the steps whatever the problems are and what are the possible solutions they are coming up right onto your screen but we don't see it which is not good which is not the right way to be a cool guy or a good uh, like uh, or i can say a spartan guy in linux administration so try to use common sense read the screen carefully rest it's very simple stuff so we will be moving ahead and doing how to break the root password in rel 8 which is essentially the same steps as we have done in rel 7 so let's move time to remove the hat the spartan hat keep it here and time to just make sure you look smart and we are the specs so let's move ahead and do the lab okay so here is my rel 8 machine you can see it right on the screen perfect so this is the point let's suppose we have logged in into the server and but we, we are not able to move to the sus we don't know the root password so for breaking the root password one of the important thing that you need to remember is that you should have the physical access on the server that means you should be right in front of the server you cannot do it remotely by doing ssh to a remote machine uh, uh, whose password you don't know and you can break it no you cannot do it so you should have the root uh, the physical access to that machine or if the physical access is not there then you should have the out of the band management ip with you which you call it the ILO IP or the IPMI IP or the DRAC but you should have that physical access on the machine so here I have the physical access on my server so what I do because I don't know the root password here I'm not just going to do a reboot here do a reboot here guys so either you can do it by pressing the power button on the server or doing a reboot command as I had just done now here uh, stop the normal booting process by just moving onto your grub screen and if you can see the screen carefully as I have just told you in, in the introduction do not mug up the things do, do not cram the things read the screen carefully use your common sense there are no substitute for both of these things so I press E as it is coming right on the screen move on to the line starting with Linux here it is go to the bottom of the line or sorry the end of the line as we do in rel 7 also just write rd.break that will work so that will work if if you see the screen we have the control x to start is coming up which will work but sometimes it might happen that the machine will not or it refuses to give you the console so it's better to give the console equal to tty1 option which is actually not a mandatory option it only tells explicitly that which terminal to use to give you the display so it is always good to be safe so give that console equal to tty1 and read it carefully you have to just press ctrl x to start which i do yeah so that 
I have just done here. So you have your hard disk mounted under sys root. So first thing is that you need to mount it in the read write mode. So mount hyphen o read write slash sys root and then move inside your sys root location and rest it's all same which you had been doing it in rel 7 just write password and the root whatever the new password is so i'm giving uh say 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 spartan s p a r t a n as the new password s p a r t a n s p a r t a n right so you see this message here all authentication tokens updated successfully which is good for me the because of the se linux i need to create a file auto relabel so touch means i'm creating a blank file slash means root dot means hidden and the name of the file auto relabel the name of the file should be same you cannot play with the name press enter here come out of the ch root environment and then come out of the shell so your machine should reboot it should relabel the entire file system because you had done the touch slash dot auto relabel file is created and remember this file is created just for the one time right once the sc linux relabeling is done it will be by default removed by the operating system so the same step is not going to be repeated after every reboot so that's important so let's wait for it it might take time depending upon the size of your file system i don't have anything very important here and the man my file system is also very small nothing uh, very big here so i'm expecting it should be coming up or uh, coming out very fast so let's wait for a while so this is simple stuff guys there is no nothing new from rel 7 so the steps are simple i just wanted to give you that confidence that yes you can do it in rel 8 also if you have done it in rel 7 just remember the spartan points that i have told you please 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 don't mug up the things i have seen a lot of students mugging up the steps writing the steps don't do it guys that's not the way to learn it it's easy stuff linux is simple linux is fun so love learn linux as we say perfect so it's going to be rebooted very soon and then i just need to wait for it and then i should be able to uh, do a login with my new password that i should be able to do so let's wait it should come up clean or else if it is you can also manually try to do it yeah it's being rebooted now if i press enter here I should be able to do login with the new password Spartan without knowing the previous password. So the rel 8 is coming up fine. So far so good. Hua. Yeah. That's the way it should be. Give Red Hat was my Alok's password. Now here I should be able to login with a password Spartan. Perfect. Click on the activities. Open your trusted. Okay. Put it here. Do a su hyphen s p a r t a n, and I am able to log in. So that's the way to break the root password. So that's a small tip. I hope you have liked it. Keep on coming back with more videos on relate and other stuff. God bless. Take care. Bye bye.